hello you are welcome here let's solve this nice algebra equation involving square root and uh, from here we have square root of 2 and square root of inside that 2 cube then square root of 2 raised to power 5 which is equals to 32 raised to power x and then from here let's take the square on both sides we square this side and also we square this side then the square here we remove the first square root here then we are left with 2 multiplied by root 2 cube then root 2 raised to power 5 which is equal to here this power multiply and we can write it as 32 raised to power 2x from here then in the next step as well let's square both sides again then we square this side also we square this side then from here this square we affect 2 and we affect this square root so this will become 2 square then this square we cancel the square root then we will be times 2 raised to power 3 then multiply by root 2 raised to power 5 which will be equal to here 2 here also multiply this power and we can write it as 32 raised to power 4x and uh, from here also we can also square both sides again we square this side and also we square this side as well then this square we affect 2 square and we affect 2 key and also affect the square root then this becomes 2 times power of 2 here becomes 2 raised to power 4 then times 2 raised to power 3 times 2 that's 6 then times the square has cancelled the square root times 2 raised to power 5 here which is equal to here 2 also multiply this and this gives us 32 raised to power 8x and uh, in the next step we have same base here then they are multiplying we can have the power from the law of indices so we have 2 raised to power 4 plus 6 plus 5 now equals to also let's express 32 as 2 raised to power 5 then raised to power 8x then from here when we sum the power here up then it becomes 2 raised to power 15 then equals to here 2 raised to power 5 times 8x that's 40x then the base are the same here we can equate the power so we can say 40x is equals to 15 from here then when we divide both sides by 40 then we have x equals to 15 over 40 from here then we can reduce this into simplex you know fraction then this will be x equals to 5 can go that's 3 over 8 we have x to be equals to 3 over 8 from here then we can also use another method method 2 from here we have the square root of 2 that means we are we can separate these numbers and uh, we have root 2 that's the first root is for this 2 and then when we look at this 2 raised to power 3 it contains two square roots the one outside and the one here so we have times square root of then square root of 2 raised to power 3 then when we look at 2 raised to power 5 here it contains the one outside the second square root and the third one so we have third we have three so we have square root of then square root of then square root of 2 raised to power 5 from there which is equal to 32 raised to power x then in the next step we understand that writing square root is same thing as writing power of half so we can write this as 2 raised to power half from here then multiply by we have two of it now so it will be this will now be two raised to power three two raised to power three raised to power half also raised to power another half because we have two square roots there then multiply by also from here we have two raised to power five will be raised to power you know 
half now in three places so raise to power half also raise to power half also raise to power half then it will equal to 32 to the power of x and then from here we can since this power we multiply here we still have 2 raised to the power half then times this power we multiply so we have 3 times 1 times 1 that's 3 then 2 here times 2 that's 4 so we have 2 raised to the power 3 over 4 then times here we have 2 times 2 times 2 that's 8 so we have 2 raised to the power 5 over 8 then equals to 32 raised to the power x and uh, from here, we can bring this power together and sum it. From the law of indices, we have 2 raised to the power half plus 3 over 4 plus 5 over 8. Then which is equal to 32 to the power of x. Then on this side, we can bring this power together. SCM there will be 8. So 2 going 8, that's 4 times 1, that's still 4. Plus 4 going in 8, 2, 2 times 3, that gives us 6. Then 8 going 8, 1, 1 times 5, that's still 5. Then equals to here, we can write it as 2 raised to the power 5, then times x. Then from here, we have 2 raised to the power, when we sum this up, we have 15 over 8, which is equal to 2 raised to the power 5x. Now we have same base, then we can equate the power. We have 5x now equals to 15 over 8. Then let's remove this 5 here by multiplying both sides with 1 over 5. Multiply this side with 1 over 5. Here 5 cancel 5 will mean x, which is equal to 5 go here 1, 5 go here 3, which is equal to 3 over 8 from here. So also from this, we got 3 over 8. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos and uh, give a thumbs up. Also, also, comment if you have another way of solving this. Share this video. Thank you. See you next class. Then. Bye for now.